Hope you have a happy and safe Independence Day. Stay tuned for Air Gun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Air Gun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the Umarex Gauntlet. This is the new generation. This is actually in 30 caliber. So we're going to take a close look at this one. I'm looking forward to this. But before we get started on this, do me a favor if you hadn't already, hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, but it really helps support the channel, and that way we can keep doing what we're doing, which is great. Also, check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, you're gonna see various t-shirts, you're gonna see hats. I've also have my generation two bipods, and I do have a few of those Rex compact scopes too, so you better grab those while they're still available. Those are pretty um, going quick, that's for sure. But anyway, all those little proceeds that I make on that just goes right back into the channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing right here. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this. But before that, I wanna wish you all a happy 4th of July. I hope you're gonna enjoy your long weekend and remember, this country was established in 1776, so hopefully we're going to keep that going strong, that's for sure. All right, let's get into the Umaret Gauntlet here. This is a PCP rifle. This one is the Generation 2. It actually, if you'll notice, it's got a green uh, type stock. It's a little bit different stock, but I'll get into the details on this one. And also, this comes in 22, 25, and 30 caliber. And today, we're going to look at the 30 caliber. And yes, and this beast is designed for hunting. So this is a pre-charged pneumatic rifle. It has, if you'll notice, it has a much larger air cylinder. This is a 24 cubic inch air cylinder and it's detachable. This gun, uh, this model itself, this one is regulated. So it's a 4,500 PSI fill, but it's regulated to 2,800 PSI. So each shot you shoot is gonna be regulated to that 2,800 PSI. So again, a 310 bar fill, which is about 4,500 um, PSI. The receiver in this, this is uh, made out of aircraft aluminum. It's definitely heavy duty, that's for sure. If you'll notice on the top here, uh, it's got a combination 11 millimeter Picatinny rail. So regardless of your scope mounts, it'll take either one. This comes with two magazines. In 30 caliber, these are seven rounds. They hold seven rounds each. It also comes with a single shot tray. So in case you want to just set this up to shoot single shots. And then it comes with a small little three millimeter Allen wrench. And that is so you can actually adjust the hammer spring on this. You can actually adjust the tension on the hammer spring, which is unique to the generation two here, which is really nice. So as I said, two seven round magazines and a single shot tray. This has a single stage trigger. It's fully adjustable. This might look familiar. It's the same trigger it was in the previous gauntlets. You've seen a version of this on the Barra 1100. It's the same style, uh, type of trigger, and uh, as well as many of the Beeman. So this trigger is not new, but they're really nice triggers, and you can really dial them in uh, just to whatever your shooting uh, style is, whether it be hunting, target shooting, what have you. So these triggers are actually pretty good. This one also does have an adjustable cheek rest. You can adjust that um, for height. It does not come with the bipod here. I just put that on it just for display. Nor does it come with the Picatinny rail here either. It does not come with that. But what you do see it does come is it's got the slots for the M locks. So you can accessorize this however you want. It's got quite a few slots for that. So you can set this up with your own um, bipod or any type of other accessories that you want to set up. So it does have the uh, M lock openings, which is which is actually really nice. This gun itself uh, weighs eight and a half pounds, so it's not a small gun by any means. Uh, it's about 47 inches overall in length, and this does have about a 28 and a quarter inch barrel. Now the 30 caliber is unique in that it has a half by 20 thread on here, and I'm going to let you know, guys, right now this gun's a little bit on the loud side. But fortunately, our buddy Terry at Buckrail. He makes a 30 caliber suppressor for this. And this is a half by 20, and you can just rotate this right on here. And you'll see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it with this on because it makes it much more backyard friendly. It really does. But what's great is this is already set up for that. So all you have to do is pick up the suppressor and you're ready to go. And I'll leave you a link for uh, Buck Rail so you can 
check that out. These are so affordable and they work so well. They really do. All right. Yeah, this gun, they also, the bolt on this, they've actually improved the cocking effort from the first generation. This is about 15% easier. And if you'll notice, they put a nice big handle on this. So it makes the bolt pull, uh, to be able to pull that back really easy. And you can decock this gun, just like the other one, you can decock it. All right, let's go out and uh, let's test the performance and uh, let's see how well this does. And then when we're done with that, we'll come back and talk about it. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test our Gauntlet 30 over the chronograph, see what type of velocity we get. I'm going to do two pellets for you. I'm going to actually do the lighter, the um, JSB, the exact um, 30 caliber Diablo. Those are a 44.75 grain. We'll shoot five shots over the crony with those. And then I'm going to tell you how well the 50 grain pellets did. I'm going to warn you ahead of time, this gun is loud, so probably their accuracy test in that we will go ahead and throw on... Uh, one of our buck rail suppressors it really makes a difference but I want to show you guys how loud this thing actually is alright so shot number one 1028 shot number two 1021 shot number three 1024 shot number four 1023 and shot number five. Yeah, this thing is extremely loud. I wouldn't even think about shooting this thing in your backyard unless you had a suppressor on it. But there you go. Look at that velocity. That foot pounds of energy is absolutely incredible. So, how it did with the 50.15 grain, um, the JSB Diablos, we got 989 feet per second and we averaged 109 foot pounds of energy. So this thing, this is designed for hunting, nothing else. This gun is designed for hunting. It, it does pack a wallop. It it's, uh, definitely has that type of foot pounds of energy. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Umarex Gauntlet, our 30 caliber here at a little distance. Um, what we're gonna be shooting at is our four inch splatter burst. He's coming in this cool roll now. I probably showed you this before, but it's really convenient. Anyway, we'll be shooting at these four inch targets. I'll leave you guys a link down below if you guys are interested in these. They really uh, emphasize the impact points, which are great. Also today, we're gonna be shooting the JSB Exact Diablos. These are 30 caliber, obviously, but they're a 50.15 grain. So that's a big pellet, 50.15 grain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot five shots. We're just gonna go for grouping. Um, as I said before, we're our usual uh, 40, 40 plus yards back. Why don't you go ahead and take a quick look at that. All right, see how well we can do here. That's three. Four. And one more. Five. Not too shabby, guys. I'll take that every time, especially hunting. Trust me. Those are headshots from this distance. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our trigger on our gauntlet here. You've seen this trigger set before. It's the uh, same trigger set that's uh, actually really similar on the Barra 1100, the Beeman's, and the other gauntlets. You've seen this trigger. So it's a good trigger. It's a good single stage trigger. All right, let's test our pull weight on this guy. Okay, I got that one set for 15 ounces, yeah, under a pound. As I said, these are completely adjustable. I adjusted this one down, and uh, 
Perfect. But being a hunting trigger, you're probably going to want to have a heavier trigger pull. But with what we're doing here, our accuracy tests and what have you, I wanted a lighter trigger to just to try to give you that. The best benefit of when we go through the accuracy test. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, we're going to do a little plinking now. And in the 4th of July spirit, I figured I'd put up a red, white, and blue target. We're usual 40 plus yards back. And now, why don't you guys go ahead and take a quick look at that. You can see what we're shooting at. Yes, red, white, and blue. So let's just see how we do. Obviously, we're going to start with red and work our way over. All right, red. White. And blue. Now, if that's not a 4th of July celebration, I don't know what is. Yeah, this baby, it's definitely designed for some hunting because it definitely provides a heavy impact. All right, let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion. Well, you guys tell me, how do you think our Umar X Gauntlet did, our 30 caliber? I'm going to tell you right off the bat, excellent. Excellent. This, this rifle, this 30 cal, is a hunter's dream. This is built for hunting. It really is. Um, but like anything else, let's talk about the negatives. My only negatives on this, and I really, to be honest with you, I'm just being really picky. I'm just me being me. You know that. The stock is a little squared off. Um, I kind of think I like the original stock just a little bit better. And I don't know, I just kind of lean towards the other stock a little bit more. But that being said, I don't dislike it at all. I'm just telling you, I just lean towards the other one. Okay, let's talk about all the positives because we've got lots of positives. As I was saying before, this is a hunter's dream. To have this type of foot pounds of energy, you guys saw in our test, well over 100 foot pounds of energy. And then combined with that, you've got outstanding accuracy. You guys saw our group at 40 plus yards. We shot under a half inch group at 40 plus yards and you're looking again over a hundred pounds or foot pounds of energy it's that's just that's amazing this is really is a hunter's dream so the power on this is fantastic and i love the fact you do have the adjustable hammer spring and there's nothing to that you just put the um three millimeter allen wrench in the back and then you just crank it to the right if you want the maximum pressure. And that's where we tested this. We tested it because we wanted the most potential with the hammer spring all the way up. In fact, I charted this just to show what the max is. Let me go ahead and show you the chart here. So we actually got 24 really good regulated shots. And that's what you're going to get. So you're roughly going to get um, just a hair over three magazines. But you can safely say you're going to get three magazines at that constant 2800 PSI. Because remember, this is a 4500 PSI fill, so we shot it all the way down to 2800 PSI. So we averaged over 1,000 feet per second, 1,020 feet per second. We produced, with the 44 grains, 103 foot-pounds of energy. You get a little bit more if you use the 50 grain pellets, that's for sure. A little less velocity, but you get a little more foot-pounds of energy pushing that heavier pellet. But anyway, we tested this with the 44.75 grain pellets, and uh, that shows you the performance. So pretty consistent. And that's the great thing about regulated guns. You get that very consistent pressure pushing each pellet, which then gives you that outstanding accuracy. So that's great. One thing I really like about the 30 caliber, and you guys know, and I mentioned it a couple times out there, this thing is a little loud for the backyard. But fortunately, it comes with the half by 20 thread. So the suppressor on here, we got, I got this one from Terry at Buck Rail. I'll leave you guys a link down below. These are so affordable, unbelievable, and they work. And not to mention, I really think it enhances the looks of the gun too. But looks, performance, and totally affordable. So check those out. Um, and he makes them for all the different calibers. He makes all kinds of cool stuff on that. So just check out his website. Anyway, but I love the fact this came with a half by 20 thread, so it's ready to go. The other thing I like about it is this trigger. It's a very familiar trigger, as I said before. You see it on the Beeman's. Uh, Barra has it on their PCP rifle, a version of this. So it's very easy to work on. It's very easy to get in there and polish the pieces, um, tune it up. You can change a spring out if you need to. Not necessary on this one. Uh, this has a stock spring in it, and you saw I pushed it all the way down to 15 ounces. And I would suggest you go a little heavier 
when you're using this for hunting. I just wanted it nice and light for our accuracy test so I could show you guys the best accuracy. But I think it's fantastic. I love the fact the gauge is right here on the side, and I love the fact it does have the standard foster fitting right here. It's got a little dust cover on it, but it's got that right here, so you fill it simply by putting your uh, pump on that. So this gun, is, it's, it, like I said, it is a hunter's dream, and I like the fact it's got the M-Lock slot so you can set a bipod on it. Again, it doesn't come with a bipod. And these run uh, close to the $500 mark, maybe a little less. Um, you can get them a little less than that. But if you're into hunting, this is it. I'm telling you, this is the gun for you. It really is. It's definitely the gun. So how would I rate this? What do you guys think? Five stars. Because this does exactly what it says it's going to do. It performs exactly the way the manufacturer says it's going to. So I'm uh, actually thrilled with it. I think it's, uh, this is a great, great hunting rifle. So with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic 4th of July weekend. I really do. And remember, it's when our this is a celebration of when our country was founded. So keep that in mind. And uh, let's uh, all be patriots and uh, have a great, enjoyable weekend. So get plenty of shooting in. I uh, hope your families are doing well. God bless and take care. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. Until next time.